Welcome back to what could possibly be the finale episode of Let's Play Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare 1. In the last episode, we started the game over mission and we shot Zakaev. Now we will get to see the implications of our actions. Oh, too loud on both ends. Well, the objective's complete. Okay, he was just alive a second ago. The Russian government released a statement today confirming a series of nuclear missile tests in central Russia. Although world leaders were quick to denounce the action, Russian officials maintained that the missile test fell well within established UN protocols. No comment was received from the ultra-nationalist party, where rumors of a possible leadership struggle have just begun to surface. In other news, the search for a ship lost in the Bering Strait due to a major storm has been called off. That was a tanker. Or the cargo ship, rather. Excuse me. Oh, I hope they didn't have copyrighted no, music. Have a sweep angle, adjust elevation scan. Yes, this will indeed be the finale episode because the credits ain't too long. And we have one more mission to take care of, but you can only access it from the main menu, I do believe. I do hope that this, uh... Take it out. I think it should. It shouldn't be too. Um, it shouldn't even be copyright because it's just a bunch of drums and horns. There's no actual lyrics, no nothing. Maybe a few violins. Boom. enemies. Boom! Big boom! Oh, can't. Can't skip credits. I don't really want to, so... Just let you know we hit a little under four minutes. In fact, let me move. There we go. I had to move my little audio recorder out. My program window, I mean. Damn, he just took that freaking house, that building down. This is gonna be one hell of a highlight reel. Roger that. Returning to base. So tell me, let me know. What did y'all think about this let's play? Honestly. I want an honest to god opinion on this let's play. I know I died quite a few times, but like I said, I'm no noob, but I'm not here to take any chances. There are some dick moves in the game where if you come come close to like them like that explosive barrel thing two episodes ago. They put them damn barrels way too close to I me. Mean, it's pretty much an automatic death if you go anywhere near them. Because as soon as you go near them, them little RPG fuckers are gonna come up and freaking blast your ass. But yeah, I had 
well, I had as much fun as I can have with a freaking first person shooter. And granted, that's not that much fun, but it's killing people. It's killing computer generated computer generated targets. That can only be fun for so long. Why do you think I don't have Black Ops 2? I mean, yes, zombies zombie mode saved Black Ops. It saved World at War too. I mean, also. Um, let's see. Hot off the heels of Call of Duty 2. The Infinity War team has been developing Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare. We're making a more sophisticated, deeper Call of Duty experience. Variety is the next big thing for us. We're going deep. Oh yeah, this game was produced by Activision. The weak man. In Infinity War. Out of the two companies that's been making Call of Duty games, Infinity Ward and Treyarch, I have to say, out of the out of the two companies, Infinity Ward is the best. I mean, it seems to me like all Treyarch really does is focus mainly on they focus the hardest on campaign for the most part. They focus their hardest on zombie mode. That's the way I see it. I mean, yes, as I said, <sighs> zombie mode's as fun as it can be. I mean, it's killing zombies. If, you want, if I want to do just that, I'd, I'd get on my PC like I am now and play Left 4 Dead. If I want to straight up kill zombies, I mean, at least if I, at least if I play Left 4 Dead, I can go to, I can put, I can use custom maps in my copy Left, left 4 Dead. Every, every night, I go on L4D maps and check out any custom maps. I mean, just yesterday, I downloaded, um, I know y'all know who Ego Raptor is. He makes those little video game related cartoons. He does the sequelitis series. Um, well, there's a mod for Left 4 Dead 2. I know it's on the Steam Marketplace, and I got it off the Steam Marketplace. It was free, so... So what the hell? Anyways, it swaps all the audio files of the tanks grunting and throwing stuff, all the sound animations, and replaces it with uh, Ego Raptor doing various, saying various things from like his shows. Like when the tank picks up a damn rock, he goes, "What the fuck?" Back it up with a little success, and when you back down to the grass, you hear them yell, Success! Devastation! Yeah, that's what you think. And then when you kill the tank, it does the thing from that video called Mr. Little, which says, Let's give him a hand! But yes, as I said, there will be no multiplayer videos. I do not like multiplayer. Um. Why do you think I mainly do single player games? LP single player games. If I can get some buddies to get a buddy of mine to get a copy of the Dead Space 3, I'll do a co op version of the story mode at least of Dead Space 3. So you can get. Um, let's see. I can do a co op mode and a single player mode so you can get both Isaac and Carver's stories. So yeah. Well, I didn't. I didn't see. Uh, I, I didn't. I want to go through this and check the credits, make sure there's nothing copyrighted. So, yeah. That's not actually the end of this episode. We're going deep and we're going hard. Surely you can't be serious. I'm serious. Mm -hmm. And don't call me Shirley. I don't remember this part. Oh, this is a uh, the Mile High Club. This, yeah, this is that extra mission. like a white phosphorus. Okay. 
Okay, but just kind of launched me into this. Let's find that VIP. Oh man, I killed him. a lot smoother than I thought. Huh. Heartbreakers and life takers. Thanks for playing. Simplify. Now, honestly, I don't know. I don't remember what that means, but oh, we have unlocked arcade mode. Nah, don't worry about it. Oh, well, that is it for Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. My Oh my god, did I seriously just say that? Modern Warfare 1, excuse me. This happens to be one of my only my only Call of Duty games that I even remotely like. I had a lot of fun with this LP because I, I particularly like this game. Modern Warfare 2 to me is okay. 3 is decent. Black Ops Zombies barely saved it on that. Zombies in the Nuketown map. And I haven't played Black Ops 2, so... I can't, uh, I can't, uh, crack down on that. So, yeah, thanks for watching, and stay, stay tuned for my next LP. Not gonna say what it is until the first day it comes out. Until the hour before it comes out. Have a nice day.